Let's take a look at the solubility for FeBr3 plus H2O. This is iron 3 bromide plus water. So we're going to take solid iron 3 bromide here and we're going to put it in liquid water. So we want to know what the equation will be. To do that, we need to know whether this is soluble in water, whether this FeBr3 will dissolve in water and dissociate into its ions. The solubility rules, they'll help us do that. So we're looking for the iron 3 ion or for the bromide ion. And right here, Br minus. Compounds with Br minus, they're soluble with a few exceptions. So this is going to be soluble. We put this in water, it'll break apart into its ions. We don't know the charge on iron, it's a transition metal, but the bromide ion, that's 1 minus. Since we have three of them, the iron has to be 3 plus. So we'll have our iron 3 ion and then three of these bromide ions. And we should put aqueous after them since they are dissolved in water. So this would be our equation for iron 3 bromide plus water. Note that sometimes you'll see the water put above the arrow. Sometimes we'll also see water in the products, but we wrote aqueous, so we've already said that this is dissolved in water. This is Dr. B with the equation for FeBr3 plus H2O. Thanks for watching.